What's good, y'all? I picked up the New World Dorado. It's called the Gold Standard Sampler. Got a, quite a few uh, sides in here. Let's talk about it. But I think I'm gonna grab the Robusto today. Let's roll. What's good, Can't Focus, your boy Dom, I'm back, y'all. And hey, I had to pick up this uh, New World Dorado sampler uh, from AJ Fernandez. Uh, there's been many cigars in the past that I smoked from AJ Fernandez. They're pretty much co a consistent blender for me that I've enjoyed in the past. So <clears throat> it's been a while since I actually had a blend from AJ Fernandez. So I saw this online and the price was really good. So this sampler box came with the, what, one, two, three, four, five different sizes. Got a Figurado, six and by 56, a, a Cordito, five and a half by 60. There's a Toro in there, six by 54. A Robusto is five and a half by 52. And a Corona, five, ooh, what is that? Five and three eighths by 46. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Robusto today. Uh, That's normally one of my favorite sizes of cigars. Uh, and see what it's all about. I just think I like it because the other uh, balance. Uh, and if I wasn't smoking this one, it would probably be the uh, the Figurado, which is another good one. So let's dive into a little bit of the, the make of this cigar. So what I do know already that it's a Nicaraguan Puro, but the breakdown of this cigar is as such. So it's a Habano Sun Grown uh, wrapper from Nicaragua. Uh, the wrapper type uh, color, excuse me, the wrapper color is Colorado. And basically Colorado is just a type of brown. Um, when you think about it. So you can look up online uh, some of the different types of colors of cigars and Oscuro, Colorado or and such. And then you can see the different shades that you can get in these cigars. But when we look at the binder, the binder is also Nicaraguan and uh, the filler is also Nicaraguan. This was a 94 rated cigar uh, by Cigar Aficionado. It was rated in the top 25 in 2022 uh, for that year's rating. So uh, apparently uh, it's a pretty good cigar by someone's standards. So, you know, I gotta smoke it for me and see how it feels with my standards, you know. It taste is very subjective, so you always gotta uh, believe in your palate and, and go for what you like. But I really like, uh, so far, the, the cigar makeup. I, I, so, when it comes to these bands, I like the placement of it, and it's not too far down, and it's not too, it's, it's a little big, but the placement is great. And from what it seems in, in the, from what I'm looking at, it's pretty elegant with the gold lace and it's got the new world, AJ Fernandez. Um, look like uh, Native American territory and this looks like an animated Columbus days, whatever. Anywho, but the gold really comes from uh, the manufacturing area where the cigar came from. So the Dorado, which means gold in Spanish, uh, comes from the, the brownish golden soil that the cigar factory sits at in Nicaragua. Okay, so this blend, it comes from a Cuban seed wrapper in a Criollo 98 binder. Uh, filler tobaccos were cultivated in Code Condega and Esteli. So, Nicaraguan all the way through. I do like me some Nicaraguan tobacco. Uh, definitely interested in see how this goes today, but when we look at this cigar right now, it's a box pressed uh, in shape. Box press, I, I, I dig a box press. Normally I do a, a hole punch uh, with the box press, but since the cap is uh, a pretty good, they, it's like a triple cap, I wanna say. I mean, it's, it's one lower down here and then you got one near the shoulder of the cap there. So the, the, the build is pretty good. So I think I can do a guillotine straight cut on this and be perfectly fine. But what I'm looking for right now as I'm looking at the cigar is I'm looking for any seams that are coming from uh, the tobacco leaf, because uh, I, I really don't want an airy cigar. And I, obviously I got, you know, a few of these to choose from and I'd rather pick a, the best one I can for the review uh, or for my cigar session, but this one looks pretty good. Uh, the veins are really small in this cigar and it's got a nice oily sheen to that Colorado uh, color as well. And of course they put this little band here on the foot that I'm gonna take off now. And the flavors are really light too, so. It's, it's, it's basically, it's a light cinnamon um, and slight woody notes. 
not too strong at all so interested to see how this goes man let's give this a cut real quick and give a cold draw and see what we pull out from this cigar yeah that cap they did a good job on that cap not coming off at all not flaring out really good nice open draw as well Man, it's got a interesting flavor on that cold draw. Here I want to say it's almost like a lacquer. So the cigars were wrapped in cellophane. Um, all of them are wrapped in cellophane. But what I did notice when I got this box was it was also wrapped as well, too. But it had that strong, um, uh, fresh paint smell on it, too. And I'm, I'm really hoping that's not what I'm pulling out from this cigar. But that's kind of what I taste. It's, it's almost like a, a lacquer a taste. It's not super strong, but there it is in there. It almost overshadows the the more uh, woodier notes that I should be pulling out of this. I, I do sense that too, but man, that lacquer is coming through. So let's give this a light and see where we can go from here. I'm I'm I'm, I'm deciding to go with a little slow light here today. Use a little butane burner here, the Alec Bradley butane lighter, because this new cigar I never had this one before, so I don't want to risk scorching the cigar at all. And just generally just want to take my time. And, and honestly, sometimes I just like pulling out this lighter. I don't use it all the time, but when I do it, it's pretty cool. Um, kind of same concept, you know, when you're lighting your cigar, you just let it sit there and just do it slow. No rush. There's no rush in this, man. But yeah, you just, just where it barely nicks that cigar and just rotate it. Let it get cherry red like you do with your, your cigar torches. And... Pretty soon you'll start seeing that amber red glow on the foot and we'll be ready to take the first puff of this Dorado cigar. Don't see a lot of flavor pockets on this cigar, uh, but it is quite smooth. I like the feel of the cigar. Box press always has a pretty good feel. It sits right in the uh, the hands pretty good too. Okay, just about there. Everybody got this thing about how they like their cigars and what's right and what's wrong, man. You just got to do what you like and do what works for you. But it does irritate me when I see people putting their cigars all the way in that flame. Oh, that just irritates the mess out of me. All right, let's turn this off real quick. Thank goodness that lacquer flavor is gone. I don't know what that was, but it's gone. And notes of uh, a roasted hazelnut are coming through in the cigar. Put some cinnamon in there. A light chocolate nuance in there as well. That retro has got a slight burn to it. Um, it's a um, maybe a chili pepper, uh, a little bit of pepper, not too crazy. But man, it's smooth. It's creamy too. It's really smooth and creamy. Um, this first light is really good. And normally that's either a setup in a bad way or a setup in a good way. So sometimes you get these cigars and it's awesome right when that in that first light and you're like, oh man, here we go, here we go. And then it just falls down real quick. But this cigar was rated 94, I trust Cigar Aficionado. And right now it, it's, it's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. There's this toasted wheat flavor that I'm getting on the back end of the palate which tends to let me know that the uh, the finish is, is, is long. When, when these flavors linger on your palate after you uh, exhale the cigar smoke, and let's say 30 seconds, I don't know, to a minute later, you're still tasting that cigar. That's a long finish. And the, fin the, the taste, again, that I'm getting on that is a toasted wheat and cornflake. It's there. And then there's that, it's still, I still feel a tingle of that pepper on the back of my tongue, too. So there's still that chili note 
uh, right there as well. Man, that's, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's good. And it's sitting right there in the, in the, the medium body range. It's not totally blowing my palette out, but it, but it's got nice, nice body to it. A nice medium. This kind of sits there with the, the cigar that I like uh, from Fuente, uh, the Rosado Gold, and how balanced it is, and how medium it is, where I could smoke it at any time of the day. Right now, this is faring pretty well with that. It's it's about midday right now. Um, I had breakfast this morning, didn't have any lunch, but I'm not, you know, should be fine and good to go. It feels like a medium, medium cigar right now. But of course, more of that will unfold as we get more to the cigar. Man, so yeah, this uh, I like really like the the this Dorado uh, from the AJS Fernandez portfolio. Uh, this is really neat. I like the gold, the gold color. They did a good job on that. Uh, and then the fact that you can get the uh, five different sizes of this cigar, and it'll allow you to get a different uh, profile taste of the cigar. So normally, when you get a skinnier cigar, the flavors are going to be a bit more enhanced. They're gonna be a bit more enhanced with the cigar, and then um, you'll get a, uh, a concentrated flavor with the cigar. So, and with the bigger cigars, they you, you tend to smoke more of the binder and more of the filler, so the flavor profile can change too. It won't be as intense, but more of that binder and that filler will shine as well. It's not in <clears throat> in, in relation to the smaller Avatola where you get more of the wrapper flavor. So, yeah, interested to see <clears throat> these other cigars as time goes by. I'm gonna let these age some before I get into them, but. Just wanted to give y'all a little show of what's going on in there. So right now the burn line's doing pretty good on this cigar. Uh, <clears throat> no waviness at all, really smooth, and I think we're in for a treat. So I'm gonna start smoking this down into the second, third, and update you if anything changes. Y'all hold tight. All right, Ken, folk, still in the bottom half of this uh, cigar uh, it's in the first third. Or not, but I want to give you a quick update. So the burn line is getting away from itself right now. So there's definitely, definitely some uh, unevenness of the burn line. Um, don't want to touch it up just yet, but it is getting away from itself, and that doesn't hurt it too much. But it does irritate me when cigars do this, and it's, it's to me, it's, it's all in the, in the rolling procedure and how it was uh, binded together. I think that can create an issue like this. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't, it's an uneven burn. Um, and unfortunately if it doesn't catch up to itself, I'll have to touch it up. So it, it is what it is, but the flavor of the cigar is starting to develop the more charred nuance, uh, with the flavors that I'm getting. I wrote down some notes and in the first third, I also picked up some cherry notes and I did pick up some warm bradier notes too. And there's really, really good, but now the flavors are starting to, they're starting to merge and the cigar is starting to change, right? And when that happens, it flavor just takes on its own personality, which it should. But now the flavors are getting a little bit more charred. So it's kind of hard to pull most of the flavors out because everything is just tasting toasted or, and charred. And then there's this bitterness uh, that's coming out in the cigar too. And the, if I would say if, if it was a scale to one to 10 on bitterness, um, it's probably about a four or five. Um, and the bitterness just draws out this more of this metallic flavor uh, in the tobacco too. It's not off-putting, but it is, it's different. Um, and if you're not used to that flavor profile change or whatnot, then it might throw you off or, you know, if you don't like it, it'll just throw you off. But it's, 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 it's definitely weird. Um, I don't always get bitterness in cigars. And I'll, when I see these notes, when cigars, um, um, are getting reviewed or in my notes and i'm like okay so and i finally really just got that with this cigar and at first it, like i said it came off as a metallic flavor and then it just started getting a little bit bitter but it's still mellow and, it, and it's and it's calming down what i did was i stopped puffing on it for a little bit just kind of let it cool down. Maybe I'll smoke it too fast. Um, and that could be the issue too, but I'm, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and see if that dissipates. It did a little bit, but the, the bitterness is still there. And that metallic flavor, it, it's still there. Again, not bad, but it, it's just a flavor profile. I and mean, that's just what I pick up, man. I don't know. 
If y'all smoke this cigar, y'all let me know what y'all think of this cigar and if y'all experience any of that with this cigar. And while we're at it, hey, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for reaching out to me. I've been able to uh, like and comment on every single comment that's been made on the post. So I appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for getting my numbers up. Hey, we're getting there slowly but surely, but it's all good, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for joining me on this ride. All right, y'all, so I'll be keep on smoking this down until the second third. If anything, major changes are coming up. If not, I'll see you in the final third of the Dorado Cigar from New World. Uh, AJ Fernandez, thanks. All right, Ken, folk, we into the final third of the uh, Dorado Cigar. I punched through the second third of the cigar because most of the flavors really weren't changing for me, but the metallic flavor and the bitterness did subside a little bit. It was still there, um, but it came down a little bit, which, which was cool because I really didn't care for that flavor nuance. It really didn't do it for me. But the toastier notes, um, the charred notes were still there in this cigar, which, you know, it, it, again, this is the Robusto, the five and a half uh, by 52. So again, like I said, the, the smaller gauge you get with some of these cigars, the more concentrated the flavor. So I'm interested to see uh, the bigger Batolas that I got from this cigar sampler how how they will uh turn out and they could be better for my my taste palette but for right now the smaller retailer vitolas are just a little bit too concentrated for what i think the blender intended this cigar to be so uh, later you know in the year i'll try it and see if it changes or not I, I won't do a review on it but but from my personal notes i'll make notes but uh that's probably what i'll end up doing i did take off the uh the band of the cigar and i really like the personal touch that um the cigar blenders do with the cigar and you'll see what this cigar uh, aj fernandez put his signature on this which hey he, he letting you know that this is a quality product from him he's willing to put his signature on it i really think that's a nice touch to the cigar i can definitely see where he was trying to go with this cigar um and i don't think it's a, a terrible cigar at all i really really pretty much enjoyed the cigar other than the, the metallic and the bitterness notes of the cigar i didn't really care for that too much but the, the again like i was telling you in the beginning when you first take those first couple puffs off that that first light of the cigar and it was like wow okay cool you know you, but you can't get too excited on those first draws because the cigar could you know be a a dog bone and end up being you know terrible or it could be great this fell i think right there above middle line for me uh with this cigar there were things that I really enjoyed about this cigar, though. Let's talk about the appearance. The appearance for the cigar, I gave it 10. I really liked the band of the cigar. It was simple. Uh, even a little band on the foot there was really cool. Um, but the appearance was really pleasing to the eye, so I gave that a 10. The construction of this cigar, I gave a 7 out of 10 points because the burn line did get away from this cigar, and I had to, um, I didn't end up uh, touching up the cigar at all. And actually, uh, it caught up to itself and, and evened out as it is right now. Uh, and that was right in the second third of the cigars when it fixed itself and did, did pretty good. So, again, I gave that a seven. Flavor, I came in at a six out of 10 points because. And that second third, man, it just, all those wonderful flavors I was getting at first just diminished into more charred notes. And it was really hard to pull out those flavors. And then that metallic note, the bitter notes overlaid on all those flavors. And it just took away from the overall experience of the cigar. And I just had to come off some points. So you got a six right there for me. Value for the money, I got at 10. Because... I'm, I'm only speaking for this sampler. I'm not speaking for if you're getting a box of these Robustos. So if you like the cigar, go ahead and get a box. But for me, the value is in having a sampler to where you get to try different sizes of the cigar in different formats. For me, it coming at $49, I think that's great value for the money. So it allows me to get a, a wide variety of flavor changes in this cigar. So basically, as I smoke these, it'll let me know, hey, I'll, maybe I'll buy a box of the Figurados or maybe I'll buy a box of the Gorditos. I don't know. Maybe the Corona, the smaller cigar will, 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 will taste better to me. I don't know. We'll see as it goes. But value for money comes in at 10. My overall rating for the cigar at the 10 points, I came at a 7. I don't think it was a great cigar in the Robusto format, but I, I don't think it was a terrible cigar either. So I think for me, fair is giving it about a seven. <clears throat> so over, overall rating uh, for this cigar, uh, we're giving it about an eight. And I think that's still good. You know, I think there there might be a, a size of cigar in here that I might buy a box of. You know, it's not a bad cigar to have. And I think it's really a good cigar to have any time of the day, really. 
and I can't wait to see how that flavor uh, feels in the summer. You know, my wife had mentioned, hey, maybe the cold air, maybe the weather is affecting the change in the, the uh, cigar. Um, and that could very well be a, a thing. You know, humidity sometimes, if you're sitting in a humidor, say 70 or 65 or whatever you may have, then you change that humidity and then you go to the garage and it's, it's super, you know, it's raining outside or super cold out here. That could very well change uh, your 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 cigar session. They're, therefore, changing the the tasting of the cigar too so that very well could be a factor i don't know it's a more science or more more experimentation may need to go into that but not bad not bad at all not bad at all and like i said even even right now when you if you take your time with this cigar i think that's what you need to do with this cigar you can't rush through this one at all and i think maybe even some aging with this cigar will help it too you know letting these sit around for a couple months i think will greatly enhance this cigar experience the next time i pull this cigar out and and give it a puff so with that being said i really appreciate y'all joining me today uh in this cigar review uh y'all know the motto be kind to of one another be kindred and leaf and i'll see you on the next cigar uh review uh thanks for sticking around i appreciate y'all support go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already we'll see you in the next video until next time my friends we'll see you